On the heels of an all-time high homeless count in Los Angeles, the city controller, who's the watchdog of your tax dollars, says it is no surprise that voters are angry. NBC4's John Caddis Klimak is live for us right now in Studio City, and John's going to show us why. John? Yeah, he was very candid with us today with, about some of his frustrations with all of this. As you said, he's the watchdog, making sure your money is being used properly. And he says right now he's a little concerned that the city isn't using the homeless funds properly, at least isn't using it properly right now. Well, to be frank, at this point, I'm upset. LA City Controller Ron Galperin, candid frustration with us today, speaking for the first time since the release of the homeless count proved the crisis in Los Angeles is at an all-time high. All of us wanted to see more results by now. I think people had a reasonable expectation that more would happen. Galperin is in the midst of an audit of Proposition HHH, which voters passed in 2017. Triple H was supposed to and is supposed to create 10,000 units. It was approved by the voters two and a half years ago, $1.2 billion in bonds. And the voters were very generous in wanting to see that money put to use for permanent supportive housing. To this day, unfortunately, there is not one such unit that has been built. He says he believes the lack of action by the city led to a lack of interest from voters yesterday when they voted down Measure EE, something Mayor Eric Garcetti had promoted heavily. I disagree. I completely disagree. I'll just say I completely disagree. Even outside the mayor's office at City Hall today, a homeless encampment is sprawling. The controller says the mistake lies with the city's inability to see the crisis as more of a natural disaster. When you have, for example, a major earthquake or you have a, a major flood or disaster anywhere in the country, you see FEMA trailers come in. You see a whole organized effort to house people even if it's intense. He says the fault lies in looking for perfection instead of looking for reasonable temporary solutions. It's not necessarily about everybody having their own unit, but how do we look at shared housing models? How do we look at micro units? Again, it's not perfect, but it is much better than actually being on the sidewalk. What a tragedy that is. As you mentioned, the, the controller is working on an audit right now of Triple H. He says that could be released in the next couple months. Reporting live in Studio City, I'm John Kathy's Klimak, NBC4 News.